Karibu tena wapenzi watazamaji kwenye mwendelezo wa mazungumzo yetu kutoka kwa kituo chako pendwa cha Kenya ni Media. Jina langu nafahamika kama Mr. Eagle 8, niko pale hapo sikio, nikumegea yale ambayo yamejiri katika taifa lako tukufu la Kenya. Katika ulingo wa siasa mtazamaji wangu sote tunajua kwamba chochote kinaweza kikatokea. Rais Mustafa Uhuru Kenyatta ameweza kushtua murengo ambao unaongozwa na William Samui Arap Ruto baada ya kuweza kuonekana upande wa Tanzania wakiwa na mama Samia Suluhu ambapo sasa hivi kwenye mita ndayo ya kijamii wanaulizana Uhuru Kenyatta alienda kufanya nini Tanzania na mkutano wa Uhuru Kenyatta na mama Samia Suluhu rais wa Tanzania unakuja siku chache baada ya Uhuru Kenyatta kuweza kupatana na rais wa Uganda bwana Yoweri Kaguta Kaguta Museveni na mkutano huu wa Uhuru Kenyatta unakuja kipindi ambapo Uhuru Kenyatta hajawahi onana uso kwa uso na William Samui Arap Ruto mkutano huu wa Tanzania wake Uhuru Kenyatta unakuja kipindi ambapo cha kuapishwa kwa rais wa Kongo bwana Felix Shisekedi Uhuru Kenyatta aliweza kutumia ndege la Uganda na aliacha ndege za kikenya akaelekea Kongo mahala ambapo alikuwa amepewa escort na vice president wa Uganda Mkutano huu unakuja kipindi ambapo William Ruto na Museveni na Paul Kagame na rais wa Kongo hawaelewani ambapo watu wanauliza ni kipi ambacho Uhuru Kenyatta walikuwa wanazungumza upande wa Tanzania na mkutano huu unakuja mtazamaji wangu kipindi ambapo Raila Odinga ameweza kutangaza nia yake ya kugombea kiti cha African Union Chairmanship. Mwanzo kabisa mnamo siku ya Jumatano asubuhi Uhuru Kenyatta aliweza kupost TV His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta retired President of Kenya attends the first international colloquium on promoting cross-cultural linguistic and economic diplomacy for sustainable futures in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. The event is jointly organized by African Institute in Indigenous uh, Knowledge System. Hiyo ni siku ya Jumatano asubuhi kabisa. Jumatano jioni katika mkutano ambao umeweza kuleta eyebrows ama uoga katika muungano wa Kenya kwanza, Uhuru Kenyatta aliweza kupost TV President retired Uhuru Kenyatta paid a courtesy call on her excellency Suluhu Samia president of, Tanz of the Republic of Tanzania at State House Zanzibar The former president had earlier attended the first international colloquium on promoting cross cultural linguistics and economic diplomacy for sustainable futures in Dar es Salaam Nimekueleza kwamba mtazamaji wangu there is no way ama hapata hapata kosa kuwa na sababu ya uhuru Kenyatta kuonekana yuko Tanzania State House yuko Uganda State House yuko Kongo State House kipindi ambapo uhuru mwenyewe hajawahi kanyagisha guu lake katika ikulu kuu ya Kenya tangia William Samui Arap Ruto hasimu wake wa kisiasa alipoweza kuchukua hatamu eh, za uongozi there must be reasons na nielewe mtazamaji wangu sasa tunataka kuweza kuangazia hizi sababu ambazo ziliweza kumchukua uhuru Kenyatta upande wa Tanzania kipindi ambapo Raila Odinga ameweza kudeklea his ambition ya kuweza kuwania kiti cha African Union Chairmanship. Na nielewe mtazamaji wangu lakini kabla ya hapo wacha nikukaribishe kama wewe ni mgeni chukua sekunde yako moja mbili tatu ukapiga subscription like video bonyeza kengele alafu uweze kushia kanda hii kuelekea kwa group moja peke yake ili waweze kupata ujumbe huu. What was the objective of Uhuru Kenyatta meeting Mama Samia Suluhu in Tanzania few days after meeting Yoweri Kaguta Museveni objective number one. objective number one. 
it is all about African Union chairmanship. Yaweze kawa kwamba katika ule mkutano wa upande wa Tanzania Uhuru Kenyatta alienda kusungumzia masola na African Union chairmanship. Hauwezi ukaniambia kwamba waliweza kukiti na Mama Samia Suluhu kwenye mkutano hawakuweza kusungumzia masola na wenyekiti wa muungano wa jumuiya ya Afrika. Na katika kwenye mkutano wa wenyekiti wa muungano wa jumuiya ya Afrika kuna theory tatu. Kuna theory tatu ambazo huenda ziliweza kutokea kipindi ambapo walikuwa wanasungumzia masola haya ya African Union Chairmanship. Theory number one Uhuru Kenyatta might be campaigning for Raila Odinga silently ili aweza kuchukua kile kiti cha African Union. Kumbuka kwamba mtazamaji wangu Uhuru Kenyatta ni mtu ambaye yuko na marafiki, yuko na influence. Uhuru Kenyatta ni mtu ambaye aliweza kujenga uhusiano wake mwema kipindi ambapo alikuwa uongozini unlike President William Samoei Ruto ambaye amekuwa kwenye uongozi kwa miaka miwili lakini ameweza kukosana na maraisi wa African African ya uh, wa East Africa. So, it might be that Uhuru Kenyatta is campaigning silently for Raila Odinga to win this African Union chairmanship. Ndio maana anafanya nini? Ana alikuwa na Joweri Kaguta Msevini akakuwa naye mtu ambaye anaitwa Mama Samia Suluhu. That is theory number one. Theory number two, Uhuru Kenyatta might be interested in this African Union chairmanship seat and that's why unamuona anazunguka kutoka upande wa Tanzania na Uganda. Lakini my question is this because kipindi ambapo niliweza kuangalia requirements za kuweza kugombea kiti cha African Union first of all you must be endorsed with your mother country meaning William Ruto lazima aweze kumuendorse Uhuru Kenyatta kitu ambacho hakiwezi kikafanyika kwa sababu serikali ya Bwana Ruto imeweza kuonyesha interest wanataka kumuendorse Raila Odinga aweze kuwania kile kiti alafu aondoe jam ya competition katika uchaguzi wa mwaka mbili na ishirini na saba. Lakini swali langu ambalo nauliza na kitu ambacho sijawahi jua, maybe tunaweza tukua, tukakuwa na political analysts hapa hapa hivi kwenye hichi kituo. Taifa lingine kutoka East Africa ambalo si taifa lake Uhuru Kenyatta, wanaweza wakapropose jina la Uhuru Kenyatta aweze kugombea kile kiti kwa sababu William Ruto hawezi akapropose jina lake Uhuru Kenyatta kabisa. And, object, uh, and, and theory number three, yaweze ikawa kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta might be in Tanzania to persuade former president of Tanzania Mr. Jakaya Kikwete to vie for this African Union chairmanship. Na hichi kitu kimeweza kuleta uoga ndani ya kambi ya William Samoei Ruto kwa sababu in other moment Uhuru Kenyatta anaonekana na president wa East Africa lazima watu wa Kenya kwanza waanze kuongea mambo. Sasa hivi watu wa Kenya kwanza wanasema kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta is in Tanzania to persuade Jakaya Kikwete and to persuade Mama Samia Suluhu to support and endorse Jakaya Kikwete aweze kuwania kile kiti cha African Union chairmanship. Kwa sababu wanasema ite kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta hataki Raila Odinga aweze kuondoka hapa nchini. Hayo ni mambo ya Kenya kwanza, si mambo yangu. And that's why senator wa county ya Nandi Samson Chirarigei aliweza kukuja kwenye mitandao ya kijamii akaweza kuandika hivi. We are pleading with Uhuru Kenyatta to stop sponsoring Kikwete for African Union role. Raila has been hurting a lot and we think this seat will help him to give back to the continent. We know that Uhuru has not healed after we defeated him in 2023 and 2022 general election. But we plead with him to also support Raila Odinga so that East Africa can present one candidate. Hawa wanasema kwamba 
mkutano wake uru kinyata Tanzania anataka kumpasuedi uh, mama Samia Suluhu aweze kumuunga mkono Jakaya Kikwete matamanio ya William Ruto ni kwamba Jakaya Kikwete asifanye nini asipendekezwe Uganda wasipendekeze mtu yeyote aende kugombea kile kiti ili Raila Odinga aweze ku win aondoe jam ili waweze kuwatesa wa Kenya jinsi ambavyo wanataka Hiyo ndio objective number one. Objective number two mtazamaji wangu Uhuru Kenyatta huenda kwamba anataka kuweza kupata support kutoka kwa mataifa ya East Africa and that's why tuliweza kumuona akiwa Tanzania akiwa Uganda mahala ambapo wanapatana maraisi wanasungumza wewe sijiulize what happened with president Ruto miezi michache tu kipindi ambapo aliweza kujiunga ama aliweza kuchukua kiti cha uongozi wa taifa la Kenya ni kitu gani ambacho kiliweza ku happen William Ruto wakakosana na Museveni mahala ambapo William Ruto alikuwa na leta dictatorship anataka kumgawia mafuta ma, machache mafuta kidogo um, taifa la Uganda what happened William Ruto wakakosana na rais wa Rwanda Mr Paul Kagame baada ya kipchumba Murukamen kuweza kusema kwamba taifa la Rwanda lina practice what we call uh, dictatorship unlike taifa la Kenya what happened between president Ruto and the president of uh, Congo whereby Congo waliweza kuondoa ambassadors wao hapa nchini so baada ya haya yote kuweza kutokea wenda uhuru kinyata anataka kuweza kujijengea jina katika mataifa ya jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki and uhuru kinyata might be interested in stamping his authority in East African countries na nielewe mtazamaji wangu hmm? because hapata kuwepo na haja ya marais wa East Africa wanazidi ku entertain Uhuru Kenyatta kama hakuna reason. Uwezo kaniambia kwamba hawa marais wa East Africa watakuwa wana host Uhuru Kenyatta katika uh, state house bila sababu nyuma. So Uhuru Kenyatta maybe uh, interested in stamping his authority in East Africa. Objective number three ambayo iliweza kumchukua Uhuru Kenyatta upande wa Tanzania kulingana na mimi, kulingana na jinsi ambavyo nimeweza kuona, Uhuru Kenyatta unajua ni mfanyabiashara. Na kipindi ambapo ni mfanyabiashara hapa nchini, serikali hii ya bwana William Samui Arapruto imeweza kuleta sheria nyingi na sheria ambazo ni mbaya ambazo zinaonekana kwamba zinataka kubana biashara zake ili biashara zile uh, zisiunde faida. And that's why tuliweza kumuona uhuru kinyata akiwa upande wa uh, upande wa Uganda wakiongea na Mr Ajuweri Museveni akuhusiana na mambo na biashara kwa sababu tunaelewa kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta vinye tunasungumza hivi yuko na biashara upande wa Kongo na yuko na biashara upande wa Uganda. Uganda tunaelewa biashara zake ni za mazi, za maziwa kampuni ya Brookside. Na kuna kipindi ambapo William Ruto aliweza kuleta sheria za kuweza kufungile kampuni yake ya Brookside isiweze kuleta maziwa kutoka upande wa Uganda wakuje kuuza hapa nchini. So it might be that Uhuru Kenyatta is interested in business and that's why aliweza kuenda upande wa Tanzania na kuweza kupatana na mama Samia Suluhu ili aweze kupata soko la biashara zake. Hiyo ndio reason ama objective number 3. Objective number 4 it might be possible that Uhuru Kenyatta anataka kuunda station kuweza kumfungia William Samui Arap Ruto uh, kutoka kwa siasa za muungano wa African wa East Africa countries. Anataka kumfungia William Samoei Ruto kabisa kutoka kwa siasa za African, yani East African countries. Kwa sababu William Ruto kama umjui ni mtu ambaye ni wa kulipisha kisasi. Is a very vengeful person. And that's why kipindi ambapo alipoweza kuingia mamlakani William Samoei Arap Ruto aliweza kuhakikisha kwamba Raila Odinga ameweza kufutwa kutoka kwa ule wadhifa ambao alikuwa ameshikilia upande wa African Union 
katika sekta ambayo ilikuwa inahusiana na infrastructure kwa sababu William Ruto aliweza kusema kwamba zile pesa ambazo Raila Odinga anapokea kutoka pale ndizo zinamsaidia kuendelea kuandaa maandamano hapa nchini. Angalia kama sasa hivi. William Ruto wameweza kukosana na e, na Msevini taifa uh, inji jirani ya Uganda. Uganda wakaacha kununua mafuta kutoka Kenya wakaenda kununua kutoka upande wa Tanzania. Vile vile ukiweza kuangalia vizuri Bwana Ruto is not in good terms with Tanzania president and that's why kuna kipindi ambapo Tanzania waliweza kupiga marufuku ndege za Kenya sisi toke upande wa Kenya kuelekea upande wa wapi upande wa Tanzania lakini hicho kitu kilikuwa solved because William Ruto is very vengeful na nielewa wanaweza wakakuwa wanaunda njama anatembea Uganda anatembea Tanzania ili kuweza kumfungia William Ruto kutoka kwa siasa za Afrika Mashariki kwa sababu taifa lake limeweza kukosana na marais wengi and finally uhuru Kenyatta na mama Samia Suluhu ni marafiki wa chanda na pete. Tangia Uhuru Kenyatta alipokuwa uongozini mama Samia Suluhu na Uhuru Kenyatta walikuwa naelewana. Ni watu marafiki. Yaweze kawa kwamba kipindi ambapo Uhuru Kenyatta alipoweza kufika upande wa Tanzania a, kwenye hafla yake ambayo iliweza kumchukua pale mama Samia Suluhu akaweza kumpigia akamwambia hey bwana pita hapa hivyo kunywe chai and i thought i don't think whether uru kenyata anakunywa chai mm uru kenyata anapenda makali yake tu mdogo mdogo hapa hivi yaweze kawa kwamba waliweza kuitana ama waliweza kumwalika uru kenyata katika ikulu ya Tanzania ili aweza kupata kachai ama kakahawa hapa na pale wakiendelea ku stamp urafiki wao uendelee kukua mkali tena zaidi lakini kambi ya Kenya kwanza wanatetemeka kwa sababu Nyusa ambavyo umeweza kuona Samson Cherargei anahisi kwamba Uhuru Kenyatta anataka Jakaya Kikwete aweze kukuwa fronted. Aende kuwania kiti cha African Union. Ili aweze kumshinda Raila Odinga, Raila Odinga arejea hapa nchini akuje kugombea urais katika mwaka 2027 na, na wao walikuwa wamepiga hesabu wakimtoa Raila Odinga hapa nchini hawatakuwa na competition 2027 kwa sababu as we speak Raila Odinga is a big threat to Kenya kwanza because ukiweza kuangalia gharama ya maisha imeweza kupanda and employment imeweza kuja hapa nchini and people are regretting for electing president William Ruto so wameenda kupiga hesabu wameona kwamba jinsi ambavyo ground inasungumza Raila Odinga huenda akaweza kushinda kiti cha urais 2027 so kitu ambacho tunataka kumfanya tumuondoe hapa nchini and that's why umeweza kuona Samson Chirarigay akigombana anyway that's my take i don't know what is your take please give us your comment give us your like and please support us by sharing let's meet to the next video and please nifanyie tu favor unaweza ukapiga subscription ili tuweze kusonga mbele